Hello and welcome. I'm John, your safety trainer, here with today's lesson on cleaning and disinfection safety. Before we begin, remember to sign off on your mobile device or online to receive credit for this training. If you feel the need to pause this video at any time to have a discussion, we encourage you to do so. Hotels, motels, and other places people work and gather can be easy places for the spread of germs, viruses, and bacteria. To help minimize the chances of both employees and guests contracting colds and flus or other illnesses, effective cleaning and disinfecting procedures should be put in place because improperly using chemicals could cause harm to either an employee or a guest. In this lesson, we will go over the differences between cleaning and disinfecting, the hazards, personal protective equipment, and proper cleaning and disinfecting techniques. While many people will use the terms cleaning and disinfecting interchangeably, the truth is these terms have very different meanings. Cleaning is the removal of germs, dirt, and impurities from surfaces or objects. This is achieved by a person using a soap or detergent and water to physically scrub them from the surface. This process, depending on the agent used, does not necessarily kill all germs. It just minimizes the risk of spreading infection and lowers the overall number of germs. Disinfecting, on the other hand, kills germs. This is accomplished by a person either using one or more chemicals to kill the germs that are living on objects and surfaces. Disinfecting a surface after it has been cleaned can help further minimize the risk of spreading infection. One of the most hazardous things that can happen with chemicals is mixing different chemicals together. Mixing one or more different chemicals together can result in the creation of dangerous gases, such as chlorine, nitrogen trichloride, and hydrazine. These gases can cause respiratory irritation and damage, and in some serious cases, loss of consciousness or death. In addition, improper use of detergents or chemicals or improper room ventilation could potentially expose you to skin, eye, or respiratory irritation or damage, as well as poisoning from accidental ingestion. Please note that hazards will differ between products, and if you have any questions about the products you are using, please read the manufacturer provided safety data sheets, also known as SDS. The safety data sheets will give specifics on hazards associated with use and personal protective equipment that should be worn, in addition to any first aid steps that can be taken to help someone if they have an adverse reaction. When working with chemicals and detergents, you may need to wear safety glasses or goggles, rubber or nitrile gloves, an apron or other piece of protective clothing, and closed-toed shoes. You should read the manufacturer-provided safety data sheet to see what specific personal protective equipment that you'll need for that product. All PPE should be inspected for damage, with damaged items being reported to your supervisor. After the appropriate PPE has been chosen, you can start selecting the appropriate detergent or chemical for the job. Some detergents and chemicals come ready to use, while others require mixing to the proper concentration prior to use. If you are working with a chemical or detergent that requires mixing, you should mix it in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions and read all labels for proper mixture proportions. Now for proper disinfecting, the Center for Disease Control or CD. Hey everyone, if you just watched this video and are thinking, how do I get more of these videos? Click on this link or go to gotsafety.com and we'll show you how you can digitally sign and record employee training records, build custom forms, or even access your OSHA documentation. Go to gotsafety.com right now or call 1-800-734-3574 for more information.